archaic human species such as Homo erectus paved the way for us modern humans and their story is truly special. Enduring major climate events and extreme weather conditions, their fossils have been found all over the earth. Surviving for some 2 million years with such basic stone age tools shows a resilience and adaptability not seen in other human species. Now, a shocking news study carried out by a team of Greek scientists tells us they were not just capable predators on land, they were also successful seafarers, capable of building boats and sailing nearly a half a million years ago, long before modern humans. The study was carried out after the discovery of prehistoric tools in the Aigon Islands which span the Mediterranean Sea between Greece and Turkey. The stone tools were dated at around 450,000 years old and synonymous with Homo erectus, providing remarkable physical evidence that these archaic species not just established settlements on the Mediterranean Islands, but were also sailing between them. According to experts, at least 20 individuals would have been needed to establish a new settlement on an island, in a mission that would have involved collecting materials, constructing a boat or raft and paddling into the ocean. The thought of these archaic species making dangerous voyages into the deep waters has shocked archaeologists as these trips would have required a level of planning, organisation and cooperation not associated with Homo erectus or any other archaic human species. The time period that these stone tools go back to was a very significant time in human history. Homo sapiens, of course, were not yet existing, it seems, but many archaic human species were, and they roamed the lands of Africa, Asia and Europe. And in the southern European region, it is extremely possible that at least three of them species may have come into contact with each other. Homo heidelbergensis lived in Africa, Europe and Western Asia. The species is considered to be a direct ancestor of both Neanderthals and modern humans and is known for its large brain size and development of advanced tool making techniques. The Neanderthal, also known as Homo neanderthalensis, lived in Europe and Asia. For hundreds of thousands of years, they were adapted to the cold environments of the Ice Age. Recent genetic studies have shown that Neanderthals interbred with early modern humans and their DNA still influences the biology of some modern humans today. The Homo erectus was the first early human to spread out of Africa and establish populations in other parts of the world such as Europe and Asia and have thought to have gone extinct only around 100,000 years ago in Java, Indonesia. So if these species did cross paths with each other, one can't help but wonder what would these interactions have looked like. Sailing was always considered to have been a product of Homo sapiens ingenuity, with Australian Aboriginals around 50 to 55,000 years ago the first to enter into deep waters and sail from Southeast Asia to Australia. Stone Age settlements from Australia dated at around 60,000 years ago tell us they somehow navigated the deep sea by at least that time, making them the first known Homo sapien seafarers. So us modern humans were not the first to sail the oceans after all, and it's time we change our perception and perspective on these archaic human species. They can serve as a reminder to us that our human lineage is more special than we care to acknowledge. And the events that led us to being here as the only remaining human species were truly miraculous.
These ancient human species like Homo erectus were more advanced than we give them credit for. And yes, our brains were bigger and they didn't make speedboats, jet skis or yachts. But we can learn a lot about survival on this planet as they lasted so long by living at one with the earth. And as humans, we must not forget this way of living as we sail headfirst into the digital age. We are incredibly vulnerable as a species, so the ones that came before us can serve as a lesson to us that our place on earth is not guaranteed and it is nature that will decide our fate. Would we be able to survive a cataclysmic natural event today? Will we have the necessary survival skills to start over again? New discoveries are occurring all the time and this is just another gift from our ancient ancestors that offers us a glimpse through time reminding us that we don't know all there is to know about our past and about our ancient ancestors who we once shared the earth with. Maybe one day the story will be complete, but until then, if you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned.